Hey, how's it going everybody? It's your boy Max here and welcome everybody to a vlog. I don't know what I'm doing here today, but we are at the river and look how absolutely gorgeous. Saskatoon is one of the most underrated cities in Canada. I don't want to hear it. This shit is absolutely gorgeous. Um, if you've never been here, highly recommend it. If you haven't been here, come to the river. It is absolutely gorgeous as you can see. I'm just going for a walk right now and uh, We'll see what happens. Uh, I'd like to talk a little bit about the Berwins, a little bit about hockey, just kind of rant a little bit about some stuff that's going to be happening uh, with the channel and with go everything going forward. But in the meantime, again, just enjoy the view. Enjoy the motherfucking view. All right, so first things first, the most important thing of them all. I'm going back to Vancouver on December 5th, and I'll be there until December 12th. So it's Sunday to Sunday. Um, I'm going there for a week, and... The plan is, is that on December 8th, the Bruins are in town in Vancouver, which no, that's not a coincidence. I should be buying tickets. Now I signed up for the pre-sale, so I have a chance to buy tickets to this game on Wednesday at 10 a.m. So hopefully I'll be able to snag some tickets. Selling tickets as if it's 100% capacity, even though as of right now, it's only gonna be 50% capacity. So we'll see, hopefully by December, Vancouver is able to have 100% because I'd like to experience my first Canucks game live with a full crowd, but either way, if I can get tickets to a Burns Canucks game, I won't complain at all. I'll keep you guys updated though, when the tickets are purchased, where they'll be in the stadium, all that fun jazz. But until then, y'all gonna have to wait, as will I, very nervously. Here's a better view without my massive face in the way. Incredible, just, it's so beautiful. Now, I know a lot of you actually really enjoyed the vlogs, which truly makes me happy. A lot of you have been asking on my TikTok, are you gonna vlog in Vancouver? And I will. I'll do daily vlogs, but I wanna do more vlogs like this. And let me know in the comment section down below if you guys enjoy the vlogs. If you are watching this vlog up to this point, comment strawberry shortcake. I don't really know why, but I really want some strawberry shortcake. Hey, there's a football over there. There's a football over there. But it'd be Tom Brady against the New England Patriots? Just kidding, just kidding, relax, relax. One of my favorite things about coming down to the river is there's like all these rocks along the side here and on the other side over there there's a ton of rocks as well and people will write like names oftentimes if like couples they'll write like their initials together and stuff i've never been able to do that but shh, we don't talk about that anyways i always like looking at the color for rocks especially now on a on a nice day like this with homies just cruising on that bike sounds like a v8 engine i don't know it's nice to look at all the, the color for rocks like this one says i'm in love with slayer I mean, that's pretty fucking sick. Me too, bud. Fun fact. Oh, it's very echoey down here. If you didn't know, Saskatoon is called the City of Bridges. Because there's a lot of bridges. There's this big bridge right here. There's a bridge over there that I was just at. There's a bridge over here. There's another one over on that side as well that I'm walking towards. So it's pretty cool. I'll show you guys the Besboro as well, which is a beautiful hotel. I've never stayed in it personally, um, but usually they have concerts and stuff there. So I'm basically giving you a tour of Saskatoon, you know? I, I'm, Saskatoon should just hire me for tourism because I'm doing a fantastic job right now preaching all you guys to come to Saskatoon. That's a very nice building as well. It's the Nutrien building. A1. Bro, the guy on the jet ski is having the time of his life right now. You can still hear him. Like he's absolutely gunning it. I mean, good on him. I mean, it looks like a fucking fun ass time. It looks scary as hell, but it looks fun too. Got a whole ass concert too. Saskatoon's bumping today. We're absolutely bumping. Free coffee and prayer. That's a W. Might get some coffee. Not gonna lie. This is a pop. This is uh, the Vimy Memorial. Uh, they also have like concerts and stuff for like people will talk up there. It's, it's honestly pretty cool. And then we have like a nice park over here. It's, I don't know. Um, they've really made it. This has been one of my favorite places ever since I, I've moved to Saskatoon. It's just been a nice place to just come relax on the weekends. Also, there's the Besboro. Uh, it's such a dope building. I'll show you more of it. So going back to Vancouver. Last time I was there, the Vancouver Aquarium wasn't open. So I really want to go see the aquarium because that's one thing that everybody said I got to go see. So hopefully when I'm there, um, I'm going to be able to go see, you know, the Vancouver Aquarium and I'll vlog that for you guys. I also want to go to a Vancouver Giants game, but I'm going to have to go all the way to Langley for that because that's where they play. They don't play where the Canucks play. So uh, 
that'll be a, a longer travel. I think it's about an hour and a half public transit. So that shouldn't be too, too bad. One of the best sounds in the world, crunching leaves. You mind crow, you son of a bitch. I'm trying to fucking enjoy the leaves as soon as I start crunching. <laughs> Fuck you. Uh, there's the other bridge, by the way, that I was talking about. Usually, if you didn't know, Saskatchewan's also called the land of the living skies. It's literally on our license plate. There's not a cloud in sight today. It's weird, I'm not used to it. Um, this is the Besboro right here though. And here is the Besboro. Such a, an amazing building. If you look up any pictures of Saskatoon on Google or whatever, that building shows up. But this city is really quite beautiful. It really is. If you've never been here, like I said, make sure to come here. And if you are, like, hit your boy up. Hit your boy up. I'll slide you the deets. What the fuck am I saying, bro? Bro, why do, you, why do you guys find these vlogs entertaining? They're really not. But regardless, um, if there's anything else you guys want me to see, do, uh, whether it's before Vancouver or when I'm in Vancouver, please let me know up for anything. Now I'd like to talk a little bit about the Bruins. At the time of me recording this, it is, uh, the Bruins are two one and one in preseason. Linus Allmark just allowed one of the worst goals I've ever seen in my life for a goaltender, passing it right to Alexis Lafreniere. But there's a lot of Bruins fans that are panicking too much about the fact that it's, you know, we're two one and one and about that goal. But remember, it's just preseason guys. There's still a lot of hockey left to be played. None of it has been meaningful as of yet. So just relax a little bit. I think this Bruins team can be a top team in this Atlantic division. The two big question marks I have on this team are Linus Allmark and Jeremy Swayman and the second line center position, whether that's Charlie Coyle, whether Jack Studnika, who has had a very, very strong training camp in preseason, whether that is a guy like Eric Howla or Nick Foligno, there are options. It's going to be a lot of trial and error that Bruce Cassidy's going to have to experiment with. And it sucks because Coyle hasn't been there because he's been injured, we haven't been able to see him play because this is when the, this is when you want to experiment with guys like Charlie Coyle, Jack Sidnika. Jack Sidnika has had time with Holland Smith, but this is when you experiment with guys and he hasn't been able to because Coyle has been injured. We get to see him in the last game against the Capitals, but I would have liked to see a little bit more time before we head into the season. So expect the month of October for the Bruins to be a lot of changes, especially at that second line center position spot. For defense, I'm not really too concerned. McAvoy is going to be an elite defenseman again. Derek Forbert is a little iffy. He hasn't looked great in the preseason, but again, new team, new atmosphere there as well. Um, Mike Riley and Brandon Carlo are likely going to be together. There's been a lot of complaints about Matt Grizzly being on the third pairing. Again, don't complain too much about that. It's preseason. If the Burns ever needed an offensive push, they can put Grizzly up with McAvoy, and we know that offense will click. Um, it's just you got to spread out the uh, spread out the wealth, and if you could have three great defensive pairings instead of just one, that's bonus. I had someone tell me from me posting these pictures and stuff on Snapchat that Saskatoon looks like at least the river part looks like uh, Vancouver without the mountains, and I get that a lot. There was a place in Vancouver where I was like, God damn, I think it was I said it in one of my vlogs. This looks identical to the one in Saskatoon. If I did say that, I'll clip that vlog and post it in this one if I remember. I probably won't. I was walking on the uh, on the fucking sidewalk with cars and stuff but we're gonna go walk by the river again because random people just like revving their fucking honda accords <clears throat> i rev my honda accords but <laughs> i'm not really fucking with that look at that bro it, I, I live here and like i don't get old i don't get bored of it I, i'm i'm just a sucker for like landscape i'm a sucker for like architecture like that i don't know it's i i, I can't describe it Hopefully some of you are like that too, but that's why Vancouver had such an impression on me. I love Toronto, big cities, fucking love it all. Bro, just appreciate life. That's the courthouse though. <laughs> all right, well, I'm walking, I'm walking back to my vehicular automotive now. So probably gonna end the vlog here. I uh, was considering doing other stuff today, but I just was too lazy and I was watching NFL and. So this is all you get. I rambled a little bit. Um, if you guys enjoy the vlogs, like I said, like the video, subscribe, see if we can hit 2K by the end of the year. Probably not. If you guys can, mwah, much love to y'all. Um, if you guys did enjoy the vlog, like I said, do all that stuff. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.